We just woke up in the middle of the night to strange noises outside of our cabin. We came out here and there are barefoot footprints around our cabin. What the hell is going on out here? Can you show us that you're here? Oh, oh there's our sign. Ben, on everything I love, I thought I just saw someone standing up there on the porch. It was there for a second, and then it was not. Someone was up there. I think I have a Caucasian. Bro, I'm getting a really, I don't like really bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh my God. Holy f bro. In today's video, you're going to see my friend Ben and I trapped inside of a cabin during a massive snowstorm deep within the woods. And this isn't your ordinary woods. These are very cursed and haunted woods. And unfortunately for us, we had to endure this this entire night. We didn't plan on spending the night inside of this cabin. We were actually planning on camping deep in the woods. On the way up to the woods, we received a severe weather notification on our phones that really worried us. And we decided to have a plan B in case plan A didn't work. Plan A being camping. And I'm very glad we had a plan B because plan A just went out the window. There was no way we were camping this night. Lucky for us, plan B was a location that was also in the forest, it was on the outskirts of it, but if we really wanted to, we could have just left and went to explore the forest from the backyard. It was very deep in this forest. And all I'm going to say is this night from start to finish was one of the craziest experiences we've ever had. If you've seen the little snippet trailer right before me talking here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not even gonna go into detail. You're just gonna have to see this footage for yourself because it is absolutely insane. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to show me by leaving a like on this video and also commenting hashtag cabin. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Quick disclaimer, this video starts very abruptly, but it starts on a very high note. And what I mean by that is earlier on in the night, we weren't planning on filming at this point. I dropped Ben off at the cabin and I took the truck and went to go see if we could enter this forest where uh, the entrance we were informed of that would work was, and it didn't. But while I was gone and Ben was at the cabin alone, he was experiencing all sorts of strange things. He saw someone outside of the cabin and this is when he started filming. So take a look at the beginning of our night. Oh, shit. Is that all the power, guys? I think... Power just went out. All well, the porch lights are still on. Let's... Oh. What the fuck was that? I came from in there. Ah. Uh... Yeah, something's weird is going on. Oh, that's the uh, that's the power breaker right there. That was really weird. That was right when I was looking at that light. So, I'll be honest guys, my worry right now is that we're not going to have any heat soon if this keeps up because it's like slowly the power in this place is going. Alright guys, I don't know how to explain what I just saw except for it looked like there was a person standing out here. Now, I've been kind of like peeking, try to get like a, I don't see anyone and Jazz isn't back yet, we would see him pull up. If he was, this massive truck 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna go take a look against all better judgment. Oh shit, lights are back on, that's good. I feel a bit more confident now. Like I said guys, it could have just been my eyes playing tricks on me. As far as I know, this place isn't really like, paranormal or anything, but uh, the, uh, f guys, look at that. Power went out, I only we got like one light on, but not good. So yeah, I, uh, There's no one here. I just wanted to make sure. Not that it made any sense that there would be anyone here, but something about seeing. I swear, I just heard something come from the woods, which makes sense. There's like animals and shit, but yeah, this place is crazy right now with all this weather i am seeing i swear to god it looked like like out of the periff of my eye maybe that's what i saw like the lights turning on and off i it's like flickering though i don't know i don't know if we're gonna make it tonight <laughs> between the electricity and the heat Everything else? It's weird. Hey guys, got some bad news. So I just left the haunted forest that we were going to camp at tonight because the entrance is completely covered. Uh, so there's like one entrance that we were told about that should be good for the winter months, but it was just covered. It looked like a plow came by and just threw all the snow into it. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we actually planned for a plan B regardless because on the way up here, we got a severe weather warning and we were like, okay, hey, just in case we can't camp out there because of weather, let's get a place to stay, you know, worst case scenario. And it seems to be that way. However, Ben just called me and told me there's some strange things happening at the cabin right now. So Ben stayed back and I was like, yo, I'll just go check quick and I'll go grab some drinks and snacks for us on the way back. Regardless of the fact, Ben just called me and told me there's some strange things going on, some weird noises, the lights are flickering, and he thought he saw someone outside the cabin. He thought it was me initially, and I was like, bro, I'm maybe 25 minutes away right now. But I was like, pull out the camera, pull out the speeder box, start filming. This could be good. You know, this could be a good plan B. I thought it was it for the night, but we were told that the entire land and the forest is cursed, haunted. There's some personal stories that I'll share later on in the video. And if that is the case, then that could make a lot of sense because this place is pretty damn close to this forest. It's absolutely massive. We're going to the other side of the forest. That's where the cabin is. Yeah, take a look at what Ben's experiencing and I'll see you guys when I get back there. Uh, peace. All right, guys, so we're back here. Um, just trying to kind of collect myself after everything I've experienced so far. Um, I did call Jazz. Uh, unfortunately, the the forest we wanted to get into, the road that went to it, is kind of plowed in at this point. So we're not really going to be able to drive in, so we're probably not going to be able to do that tonight. Um, but he is getting groceries right now, which is good. Um, just in case we do get stuck here. That's not like it came from upstairs. Okay, that's the next part, which is uh, Jazz wants me to check to see if this place may or may not be paranormal. Now, so far I'm really wondering if it is. Uh, I know that the forest near here is haunted, but the question is like, is this place haunted too? Um, so we're gonna kind of delve into that now. Um, I have Spirit Talker here. I'm going to start that right now. All right, spirits of this cabin. My name is Ben. I uh, 
have experienced some weird stuff tonight. I was hoping maybe I could get some answers as to what's going on here. Um, if it's paranormal or if it's just something else, you know? Uh, so if anyone would like to speak with me, uh, I'd love to communicate with you and... Uh... My name is Grace. Oh, I have a sister named Grace. Hello, Grace. So, Grace, were you a, a, a person that lived on this property, maybe lived on a nearby property? Can you tell me who you were? Okay, that sounded like it came from like this wall or the door over here, but I didn't see anyone outside. That was me. Grace, that was you? Are you next to the door over here? This is nuts. Man, it'd be nice if the power would come back on right now, because I'm... Okay. I know you guys heard that. Shadow figure. I... It's really weird. Right when it said shadow figure. I'll have, to, I'll have to show you. So right when it said shadow figure, that light reflecting off the the grill over there, it looked like something passed through it, which I guess it could have been like a bug or a bird or moth, I guess. But it's kind of cold for that right now. So, yeah, I'm hearing banging and weird shit over here. Okay, yeah, that's what Jazz was saying about the location near here is that it is like a cursed land. Um, can you tell me what that thud was, maybe? Grace, are we talking to Grace right now? Grace, are you at the pond? Okay. All right. I'm noticing right now that it's not just a chair. This is a chest. I just don't know why I'm hearing shit coming from over here. Oh, that light just went out. Getting good vibe from that doll at all. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna shut that and I'll show that to Jazz later. Actually, no, I'm I'm leaving that for Jazz. Uh, we can go through that together. know what to make of all this. This is kind of... What is this? I 
I'm actually going to call Jazz right now because this is really weird. And I'm hoping he gets back soon. Um, give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. As you can see, the night started on a very high note especially for Ben. And with that being said, I want to ask you guys the who wants to be a millionaire question of the night. So given the variables, the winter storm, the alleged rumors of this place being haunted, the fact that we may be trapped inside of this cabin that's losing power, what would you do? Would you A, leave, B, stay in this cabin, C, stick with plan A, try to camp, or D, other comment? Let me know. I'm genuinely curious what you guys would have done in this situation. As you can see, we uh, stayed. And I don't know if it was the correct decision. So all I'm going to say. So yeah, let me know down below. And with that being said, take a look at what happened when I came back. Continue to investigate not only the cabin, but the woods. I kind of want to get Chaz's raw reaction when he gets in here. Well, my dude's been dealing with a lot already. Having to get someone to uh, shovel out the driveway just so I can get up here. There he is. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Uh, I ran your test. Yeah. To see if this place is uh paranormal. Paranormal, and there's definitely some interesting. Oh yeah, hold on. You gotta tell me all about it. Uh. All right, what's going on? So, uh, I thought there was a couple things that happened. I thought I saw someone out here. I've been hearing weird shit. The power's been going on and on. Let me pause you for a second. I was driving up here, up the little hill. I could see this, like, body of water next to the cabin. Yeah. I swear to you, I thought I saw someone standing there. Wait. And I was like, why the hell has Ben by the pond? Pond? It's like a body of water. It looks like a pond. Holy fuck. What? Okay, uh, it said, it, uh, Spirit Talker said, by the pond, I'm by the pond. It was one of the last things it said after I was having all this weird, like, okay, like, on. connected. Let's just, just to be safe, I don't have the flashlight on me. Um, I just want to make sure, I just want to take a look down there quick, that there's no one else here. Yeah. I mean, I took a look. I mean, brother, like... Oh, yeah, that is a... Look, look, look right there. Footsteps. Right? <sighs> yeah. Look, footsteps leading to the pond. From that direction. Okay. Weird, yeah, I came from back there and I saw... I swear to God, I thought I saw... But the thing is, whatever the hell I saw, it was almost like there, and then it wasn't. It was weird. And I was like, I'm going to come straight here. And then when I parked, I saw a light in there, and I was like, oh, that's me. And the power keeps on going on and off. The lights were switching on and off. I was yeah. hearing a couple times I heard. At least we got the heater. Is there like a farm? Like close to here? No. I, I heard what sounded like a cow. That's interesting. Right? Like here? <laughs> yeah, In the snow? I like I was like, I don't know. Like, yeah. I, I, everything. It's just a weird place. So there is uh, one other thing. One other caveat. There is a, uh, I saw you noticed the fire truck, but there's a Raggedy Ann doll. Where? There's a little cupboard over here with it in it. And there's some other, there's like some shit with it too. Like, I don't know. You check it out? Ah, it gave me really bad vibes when I looked at it. I just didn't like, I don't know how to describe it really. Oh, it was like a chest? Yeah. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah. Okay. Um. There's a picture of like a baby and then a picture of a church on top. It's a picture of a cabin and by water. No. Oh. I don't know if this is here. I don't think so. This looks much bigger. It does look bigger. Let's take oh, it off the it's boat. a postcard. I can't speak cursive. Oh, well, yeah. that's it for that. No, I'm gonna try that. Uh, um, we are having a nice time here at camp. 
when are you coming to see us down here? You said you were coming here soon. Love, Martha. Uh, there it is. It's even got the tags on it. Yeah. Raggedy Ann and Andy. I think that's Andy. I'm gonna be honest, brother. You're getting a bad feeling from it, aren't you? Yeah. I'm getting like chills just holding it. Like my hairs on my Tell arm are standing up. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I my whole... Dude, I don't know why. It's yeah. like, holy shit. I, I don't feel good right now. Yeah. Okay, um... I got goose pimples. Something about this is freaking me out. Like the aura I don't <laughs> of want you the to put it back. I'm yeah. Not lie. Enjoy yourself in there. Yeah, I was hearing the the strange part was I was hearing thuds. From there? You heard that, right? Yeah. Okay. I there was one right when you were speaking too. That's why mm -hmm. my my, yeah. my my face just it like took me a while like register in my head. I was not okay. Okay, maybe I'll just leave it open. I don't know. I think it's okay to close. I just let it be loud if you want. So I don't know. Oh, fuck it the baby in a church has like bells on the top of the church. Well, the cross almost looks like it was upside down, but it wasn't. Like some scratched in you. Grace. Grace. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Why do I feel like there's something really strange going on? Oh, it's a jewelry box with a really wonderful family. Why does it sound so familiar? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Something weird is going on. And I, I feel you. I'm getting some weird, like, sense of... Dread? It's a whole lot of everything right now. Um, so, when I went down to the... Uh, the forest entrance, like the the part where someone recommended us to, to enter from, it seemed like a plow came by and plowed the entrance in. You can't get in there. Like the yeah. snow is like this high. Even with my truck, there's no way I'm getting through that. Luckily, we got this cabin as like a plan B, right? Because one, we found out that the weather was gonna be really bad. And luckily this place like was available uh, for the night. So we were like, grab it just in, in case, case. Yeah. you know, just in case. Ah, oh, see, that's been happening a lot. That's good. We it's got like it'll that's probably shut off again, I think. <sighs> We're gonna get copy striked by music box beats. Yeah, I don't wanna play around with that. I really do get copyright striked all the time. There was one time Fisher Price copy striked me because a toy went off. And I now I see fire trucks and shit. I'm gonna just put everything else out. <laughs> um You heard that? Mm-hmm. What is that? What's up there? What is up there? I took a look earlier. What, what's up? Bad. That's it? <laughs> Can I see the camera for a second? Alright, I'm gonna toss you guys up there. Just throw them up there. Just throw them. Hello? That's weird. Like, that sounded like... Footsteps. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to bring in some of the groceries, bring in the rest of our equipment. Let's get settled down a bit. And then we got to figure out what's next on the agenda. Do we go film outside? Because that's the plan we were going to do initially. And plan A was to camp here and check out this land that people claim is cursed and haunted and, um, you know, see what's out there. So I'm going to go get the rest of my equipment and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, um, problem guys, literally like all the power in the cabin just went out except for the bathroom, but like, oh yeah, we still have heat though. Yeah, which is good. Snow's coming down hard now. Hey, you can't even like see in the distance, but oh, uh... like I'm actually worried now, like what if we do lose the heat? Like we're, we lost half of the power of the cabin and it's like we lose the heat uh i mean 
what we could do is you mentioned earlier that the spirit box said something about the pond that said i'm at the pond or something yeah so maybe we could go investigate a little bit outside and hope that maybe the power comes back on i just think it's super weird how it's just the bathroom that it's still on that's still on yeah maybe and they like, have like a like a last resort they have it set up so that the heater maybe maybe stays on but like the lights on in here you see yeah well actually you, you should shut those off to preserve the power oh keep god that's heat that's the thing like if that goes out i'm telling you right now it's cold as is but if that goes out oh we are it's gonna be a long night i mean we have the sleeping we're, bags we're camping at that point yeah we have the sleeping bags that are good at like under 20 degrees but i mean oh there it is oh eureka are we back we're back all right um should we shut off some of these lights just kind of preserve yeah it preserve bit? them i guess I'm wondering, this this place has got to be running a generator then. Yeah. Um, dude, that's scary. If the weather is that bad out where, like, the generator's acting up. Dude, imagine we wake up in the middle of the night and generator's off, freezing our ass. Oh, that's how we'll wake up from being so cold. Well, the, the problem I'm, I worry about is, like, yeah, we got a truck, right? We got a... Tr the lights just uh, turned off. Oh. Uh, Can you try turning on the light again? Oh, oh shit. Uh, it died. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was short-lived. This this might not be good, bro. Like, I do know that we have a truck, but it's saying that it's only going to start snowing worse as the night progresses. Um, we had trouble getting in. Trouble getting in, because at certain points, you're going, like, up and down these hills with ice on them and whatnot. These hills are made of, like, the roads are, like, made of dirt. It was, like... This is going to be all night like this. Yeah, but the pro like, this is just now starting to happen. We should shut that way. really worries me. Um, maybe what we should do right now is go film outside mm -hmm. and just turn everything off. Yes. We just preserve as much as we can. Yes. All right, so uh, we're going to head outside, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no. Weird as hell. <laughs> See you guys soon. I just said I'm angry. Oh, God. I'm angry. Okay, so whoever is here is not very happy. I could tell by the amount you're messing with our damn electricity on the inside. Okay. Have to retire the Crocs for the night, guys. We're going deep in. So like in Pokemon, what's super effective against electricity? Water? Ground. Ground? Ground. Ground. So how do we get to that pond back there? I guess. Over the mountain over there? It's yeah, weird. we gotta go around. Okay, um, it's coming down hard now, guys, and I'm honestly getting worried, because look at the, uh, paths. The paths. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, if it gets too much, we might be stuck here, and, you know, it's not the worst case scenario, because we're stuck in a cabin, but it might be worst case scenario if the, uh, heater... I'm upset. I'm upset. Okay, uh, is that you messing with our electricity then? So the cabin's all the way up there. And um, what did it say to you when you were using the spirit talker earlier? It said I'm by the pond. And this is the pond right here. It's frozen over. But I wonder what it meant by saying that it's at the pond. Uh, we could, what the fuck was that? Uh... You heard that too? Oh. It sounded like something hit the window. Like, hello? It just sounded like something just hit the window at the cabin. It's I'm nice. gonna make sure my car is locked. We haven't seen anyone weird or anything here, right? Oh, like, little, oh. Little girl, the doll, and the pictures of the girl. We were just talking about who's at the pond. Yo, the, let's, oh, go. let's go, let's go. Um, is there anything that you want to share with us about yourself or maybe this land? Oh, where does this go? Is that a hunting tower? I think it is. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go check that out too. Can you tell us your name? Oh, man. Oh, it's busted ass. Holy crap. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? 
I thought I just saw something over there. What, near that tube thing? Yeah, I thought I saw something move over there. Uh. Hello? My name is Grace. Holy Okay, fuck. Grace. So little girl, my name is Grace. Um, is that what I saw? Bro, it's so, I'm telling you guys, I don't know how it is on camera. It's, it's usually different. It's really hard to see like across the pond right now. Um, can we just... Okay, this isn't too bad. Oh, careful. I lied about it being <laughs> not too bad. You look familiar. Look familiar, huh? What am I stepping in? Ice, probably. Oh, so this is water? Grace, can you show yourself to us? I don't know. Weird. Listen, listen, listen. I thought I heard like a whistle. Where's that coming from? You hear it? This feels like it's all around us right now. Grace? Is that you, Grace? Should we maybe go down the trail where that uh, tower was? Tail hook, yeah. Check that out maybe? We could, yeah. Uh, I'll come back here and we'll use the spear talker or maybe another spear box as well by the pond. This area is ginormous. Like, we'd be exploring here for ever. I was gonna say, how much of this is like the property? Brother, I don't know, I just know. What connects to like different? What connects to that damn haunted forest that people were telling us about. Now, only thing like, what the hell was that? Uh, I don't know, should we? That did not sound human or like an animal at all. It didn't, no. Hello? Suddenly. What is it? Suddenly. Unexplained. Oh. Yeah, that was definitely an unexplainable sound. Is there something that we should be worried about here? Cautious about maybe? Yeah, this is gonna go on forever, bro. Like loops around both ways. I don't know what it is. I'm getting a really bad vibe right now. When I think about those photos that were inside of the cabin, the doll itself, like the doll, I've seen tons of raggedy ants in my day you know doing all types of scary videos something about that one that just like you remember what i said right when i looked at it, i was like bro i something about that doll yeah all right i'm thinking we do a necrophonic session by the pond maybe see if grace has anything to tell us okay Holy? Oh, fuck. Okay. I heard Yeah, Oz, that's the generator maybe? Yeah. Maybe turn it back on? It scared the fuck out of me though. Scared the living shit out of me. Um. Opposite. Opposite. Yes, wait, here. wait, 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 wait. Yours said holy. Mine said opposite. I don't uh, like that. I don't like that at all. And then what did you say? Yes, we're here. At the pond. Okay, all right, we're coming. With all those loud sounds of the generator, I'm hoping that means the lights are back on. Or maybe that they will turn back on. That'd be nice. <laughs> so as long as the heat says it's on, I'm, I mean, I'm happy. I will say one thing, it drastically got colder since we got here. 
Oh yeah. Like that's for sure. Um, we don't really prepare for these trips too long. We're we? getting better at it. I, yeah. I mean, we had a backup plan. We did. Look at us. Remember we were stuck in the forest, in the tents and shit? Exactly. All right, so I'm going to fire up Necrophonic myself. Um, Jacob. Jacob. Okay. Necro. Jacob and Grace. Grace, are you here with us right now? Hey. Hi. Is that you, Grace? Grace, did something happen by this pond? Yes. I was going to say, did something happen by the pond? I didn't finish my sentence with yes. Maybe I knew what you were going to say. She was sweet. Who was sweet? Are you talking about Grace? Absolutely. Um, did something bad happen here? I don't want to say what that just said. Yeah, I don't either. That didn't sound good at all. If you are here with us, can you give us some sort of sign? Can you show us that you're here? Oh, oh there's our sign. I just said I need help. I heard that. Who needs help? I have an idea, Ben. Here, let's switch. You were the one that saw the figure. Maybe it wants to communicate with you. I'll grab the camera. Sure. Can, can you tell me who I saw? Me. Huh. Who's me? Who did I see earlier? You seen me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and that other voice too earlier was a guy. Yeah. So it seems like you've seen some sort of male spirit entity. Yeah. Okay. Ben. ben. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> That's a liking to you. Hey. Uh, can you tell me your name? That was a weird sound. Yeah. Can you tell me what happened here? Maybe at the pond? Sarah. Sarah. What happened to Sarah at the pond? What happened to Sarah at the pond? What did I say? Hung? Hung? H-U-N-G. Hung. How, how, well, how long ago was that? I mean, bro, that could be possible if it was hundreds of years ago or something. No, I know. Oh, I don't uh, feel good about this. <gasps> no. 1600s. <gasps> oh! Oh! No. Oh my god. Holy f bro. I keep on hearing Leon. Leon? The name Leon, and you guys can go back to and listen and see how many times you heard Leon. I've heard it like three or four times now. And I wasn't sure if it was like the name, but I'm yeah. starting to wonder if that's the male. That you saw, maybe. Maybe. Leon, is is that your name? Albert. <laughs> or is it Albert? <laughs> Bro, it's responding to you very well. Uh, shit. Uh. All right, Albert. Name? It's a name. Yeah. Okay, you heard that too. Uh, so... Jesus. So Sarah was hung... In the 1600s. In the 1600s. Albert, did you have... Do you have something to do with it, or... Why... 
Why are we getting this at the same time here? Yeah, I heard you. I did too. Well, they did say... Anniversary. Oh. My goodness. Holy. Okay, bro, remember, some of the stories that were people were telling us about this place in regards to how it's cursed, some bad things have happened here. Yeah. You know, like, it's a very big piece of land. Something could have happened elsewhere and it, like, kind of is here at the moment. I don't know, but I just think it was weird that it mentioned this pond. What if this day, though, is like a anniversary? The anniversary of when it happened? When it happened. Good. Good idea. It could be. Girl. Okay. Um... Let me see. I'll ask a couple questions too. Sure. Um, girl. Girl. Peaceful. Peaceful. It keeps talking about this girl. Crime. I heard that. Did someone die here on this land? Matthew. Lots of names, but that's one thing that could be very common with a land that had a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, he's getting bad. Yes. He's getting Your really hair, bad. bro. Yeah. Do I look like Snow White? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good analogy. But... <laughs> it's just said move on. It's dead. Are you talking about us or the spirits? Maybe they want to move on. Okay. Like pass on. Do you want to pass on? Death. Death? I've never heard that sound so clear as in saying death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was a girl, bro. Yeah. So I said, ask, pa ask if you want to pass on. I said death. What did that say? If you guys could go back and. Yes, please. That was a wild. Please help. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Please help. That you want us like to help your water too. Oh hell no, don't say that, Ben. I, I I'm just saying the way it sounded, it sounded yeah. muffled. Girl. Bye. Bye. Oh god. Okay. You heard that? Yeah. What was that? I don't have a clue, brother. Whoa, what the hell? Oh. Stop, stop, sorry. Okay, Ben? Yeah? Um, whatever we do, we cannot split up tonight. I have a really bad gut feeling right now that something or someone is watching us, like, right now. Like, that, you know when you get that feeling. Yeah. Well, that weird sound earlier, it sounded like someone banged on the window. On the window? Yeah. And we were just up there. Yeah. It's so hard to get out here, though. Like, who the hell? Ben, I... Is there anything else you want to tell us about the land, the pond, anything? No. We're going to be here for the rest of the night, so if there's anything you... It just said, please help again. Dead. If there's anything else no. you want to share with us, how we can help, please do... Holy fuck. I think it's scary. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> The light flickered as well in the house. I think that's good. Maybe that means we have some power right now. Or we have company. Dear God. <laughs> um, dude, there's so much land to explore here. I'm a protector. Is it said, I'm a you? protector? Yeah. That's good. All right, well, well, tonight, can you let us know if we're in any danger? When to leave, when to stay. Yeah, any point of the night. Thank you so much for communicating with us for now. We're gonna head back. No. Say no. Yeah, just say no. no. <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll stay out here a little bit longer. How about that? Good. <laughs> you okay? Oh my god. Alright. What the hell did that say? I... Ben? What the hell was that sound I just heard? 
take or something. Okay, no, listen, thank you for communicating with us. Um, we're gonna go back to the cabin for a bit, warm up if you wanna meet us back there. Okay. <laughs> that was one of the most insane sessions I've ever had. Um, that was pretty intense. I'm definitely getting the vibe that something bad may have happened on this land. Yeah. And maybe it's just like one thing that will, won't move on, you know? That's the thing, like we have no idea if this cabin itself is haunted. This could be, like this cabin looks relatively new. So, but the thing is, if the land is haunted, there's no reason why spirits won't show up in the area on the land itself. And, you know, we, we were told about this haunted forest nearby. That was our initial plan tonight. But damn, like plan B seems just as good. Holy shit. Yeah, what's plan C though? We'll get the hell up out of here before it gets too bad, huh? Uh, fair. Um, which might actually have to happen because the yeah, bro. I'm gonna take a look at the weather when we get back because I, I don't have the best. Uh, I am starting to worry about your tires. Service out here. Well, I we just picked up the truck. Ben, on everything I love, I thought I just saw someone standing up there on the porch. It was like, it was there for a second and then it was not. Someone was up there. Um, listen, what I was going to say was we just got the truck. We just picked it up, so I wasn't able to get any snow tires on them. Like, I know it's great, four by four, off road, whatever. But th this, is, this isn't normal, like where we're at, by the way. We're, we're two miles off like a narrow dirt path that's covered in snow now. It's not even a road. It's, it's not. But it was. It was weird. It's like the road you'd make if you're doing like a haunted hayride on someone's... That's one way to put it. ...property. The lights are on, right? So, uh, inside bro, or no? Y maybe, but I'm telling you, I saw something. No, that's why I'm, I'm kind of... Keep, keep the camera rolling. Do you still have your spirit talker running? I think so, yeah. Okay, something something's messing with my eyes. Or who's who's by the cabin? Who's up there? I think we might be okay. But we should just definitely check if we have any power right now. Noah. Noah? It's a Noah? It did say Noah. Anybody here? Okay. So, light outside works. Not inside. How's the heat? Oh, it's nice. It's nice and toasty in here. Um, my goodness. Only the lights outside work. Find my ashes. So in there, there was the doll. There's the music box. For the lives were lost. Ah, okay. Um, I'm going to take another look at everything in those photos, the box, the doll and everything. Give me a second, because... I'm getting some really bad vibes right now. It was the most unsettling feeling being out there. It felt as if you were being washed the entire time. There was a moment where we were hearing whistling like around us in numerous directions. There was times where I thought I saw someone up by the cabin. I thought I saw people by the pond. I, I, I don't know if I was losing it, but 
man, th this place really messes with your head. And so, yeah, we investigated a bit of the outside. And before we went to bed or even attempted to go to bed, I, I thought that maybe we should try to investigate a little bit inside of the cabin. So that's what we did next. And that's what you're going to see next. Before I do show you that, I just want to mention that we have a massive giveaway going on. I'm going to be giving away some unreleased, signed 500,000 subscriber special merch. Now, as you can see, we haven't hit 500,000 subscribers yet, but we do have the merch here. We're ready. We're planning ahead. <laughs> but I'm going to be giving away some of these signed, completely free, anywhere in the world. If you want to win one of these, simply just comment down in the comment section below, hashtag 500K, and that's it. You're entered. If you want your name to be entered two times in the giveaway, Shares on any social media platform. I'm also going to be throwing in some $100 Visa gift cards in some of these giveaways, so just throwing that out there. But yeah, take a look at one we investigated inside of the cabin. All right, guys, so right now we're going to do an SS method. So I'm going to be putting on these noise cancellation headphones, running a spirit box, and basically I won't be able to hear a damn thing. It's going to be blurring out all these loud noises in my ear. And Ben will be asking questions, and whatever it says in my ear, I'll just relay it back to you. So hopefully... We'll get some answers to some of the stuff that may be going on in this area. It'd probably be a better idea to do this outside, but it's getting bad out there. Mm -hmm. So it's probably best to just do this in here for now. I mean, man, if the whole, like, the entire land is haunted, then I don't see it being a problem, you know? No. So let's give it a shot. I have this makeshift blindfold. It's from the pillow, so there we go. We'll make it work. So put this like that, and I'll just put this right on top of my head. And then Ben, in a second... I'm going to have you press the start button. I can do that for you. Make sure that this is over my ear. Okay. And your eye. So yeah. I can hear literally nothing. Wow. Okay. He's sure. in. Whenever you're ready, just press start. Oh, God, that's so loud. All right, uh, spirits. My name is Ben. I'm with my friend Yasko here. We're just going to... Talk to you, ask you some questions about the uh, going-ons that happen here. Shh. Did you hear me? Maybe I heard you earlier. Who am I talking to? Maybe I'm talking to Sarah. Oh, 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 wow, we got Sarah earlier. All right, Sarah, we talked earlier. You said that you... Uh, Maybe Are you right here? No. Like, I don't think you can. I don't know if it's you or not. But okay, there's. It felt like a really, it, like cold breeze, just like. I get maybe because it's doors here. Right. Okay. Um. Sarah, we talked earlier. You said that, you were possibly hung, down by the pond. Can you tell me more about that? If that's true. Very sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Um, Dark times. Was it during the 1600s, possibly? Come here. I can show you. Where do you want me to come? Water. Uh, maybe we can do that later. Oh, we were already out there. Please. Well, maybe you can tell me more about this doll. Looks like it's a Raggedy Andrew. Or Andy? <laughs> Raggedy Andrew. Raggedy Andy. Brother, I swear to you, I have no idea what it just said in my ears. It sounded like something was like speaking in tongues. Holy shit, that was so uncomfortable to hear. <gasps> oh my god, it just said a little girl. Okay. I don't like that. Maybe we're still talking to Sarah. Sarah, was this your doll? I don't think it was. No, 1600s. There's no way. Grace. Oh, Grace. Not me. Grace's doll. Okay. So who was Grace? Can you tell us about Grace? Maybe Grace is here and wants to speak with us. Sweet girl. That's good. Tell me more about her. Maybe the time period. Was she from some time more recent? Maybe before you. Before me. Okay. Dumb. 
Oh, I'm not that dumb. There's Hold more. It's more? What buried. can you tell me? Buried. Who's buried? Within. Buried within? Can you tell me what you mean? Forest. Oh, I don't like this. How about the uh, how about the music box? Can you tell me about that? The photos we found. Hang on, right here. Can you tell me who these people are? Liars. Well, liars. Don't. I started knocking. What did they lie about? Can you tell me? Everything. Do you know these people personally? Like, are they family, friends? Something just like, I feel like something just laid its like hand gently on my shoulder. Oh, can you tell me who's uh, next to Jazz right now? Doll. That's true. Is there something attached to this doll? Maybe something not good? No. Is there a spirit that has a connection with this doll that makes this doll maybe more spiritually active. Doll. Doll. It's a doll. Doll. It just keeps saying doll. Doll. Uh, that was me. That was you? Uh, oh wait, hold on. No, that's not Jazz saying that was me. That was... Who's you? Are we talking to the doll still? Do you believe us? I'm starting to. Come outside. I uh, maybe later. By the river. I can't do that. How about this uh dangerous? We have this picture of this baby here and we do have a church. Can you tell me what these mean? Ah, uh, that's... What did that just... It said something in like a bunch of syllables. It was like, K, Mu, Nyun. Communion? That's where they got their com. Okay. Is this must be. Is this Grace? It just said, look to your left. I don't know if it's talking about me or if it's talking about you. It's all to my left. What am I supposed to see to my left? The door. So to his left is a door, and then to my left is a door. So I really don't know who he was talking to. Hey. Hey. Come on. Outside. I don't know if we're going to do that. Scaredy cat? Probably. Amazing. Grace. Stop! Stop! Something sounds angry right now. Something's like screaming in my fucking ear. Who is that? Can you tell me who that is? Her. Grace? Sarah? Who are we talking to? You will see. Huh. 
What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Was it you? So no. just grabbed my leg. Okay, I heard something. No, 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 no. Brother, it, sound, it felt like something just went like this around my leg. I thought it was you messing with me. No, no. You I mean you were feeling shit all around you yes, the yes. whole time. But... At one point it felt like something was right here, like like it, it felt like like something was like gently rubbing me. At one point it felt like something just like you could like you sense the presence like right here. Yeah. It sort of felt like Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. None of this. None of this I liked. Dude, the responses that are coming through in here are not it's just like progressively getting angrier. Yeah. Like at one point, just says stop, stop, and it sounds like some just scream. Go to the pond. They come and ask us to. I already did. I know. That's why I was trying to. No, I, I think we're okay with that. Yeah, we're good. I'll put it up to you guys. If you guys want us to go back, come back here and film in this entire area. Uh, let us know. Comment hashtag pond, and we'll come back for another night. You know what? We'll come back for a weekend. Hopefully, on a better weathered weekend, and um, continue investigating because th this has been yeah. a wild night. Yo, honestly, honest to God, like right now, I don't feel comfortable. I'm going to shut this off. Take a break, maybe. Take, take a good break. Maybe I'll even get ready for bed. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, I just, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't like this. I think we should put that doll away, I feel like. But it's up to you. If you want to keep it Maybe we should night. leave it here. Leave it here. Um, maybe I'll put this away or something. I'll, At least that. Jesus. I don't know. Um... Some weird stuff's going on here. Uh, listen, guys, I really appreciate you. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you, but I hope you understand why I just need a break right now. This shit can get a little bit. I think my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Uh, it's hard to tell. Sorry. You're good. Yeah, it's hard to well, tell. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm going to get the cameras ready. Um, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's time for bed. Um, I'm up here in like the little attic crawl space area. Ben's downstairs. And I kind of want to just talk a little bit about, you know, this place. So... It's been a wild night, right? Um, it's one of those places where you're not exactly sure if it's haunted. Like, anywhere can be haunted, right? But this was just a plan B for a place to stay for the night. And we're experiencing paranormal activity all over. And, you know, it very well could be the land. I really don't think it's the cabin itself. I truly do think it's the land around. Because the forest nearby is super haunted and cursed from what people are saying. So, maybe... Maybe I don't know. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it definitely is the uh, the land. It's not the cabin. Um, although, definitely have experienced some weird stuff inside the cabin, so uh, I'm still kind of weary on on what it is. You know, I think the craziest part of the night was uh, the damn shadow figures we saw, both of us on separate occasions. Like that, that to me was like a deal breaker, like, okay, there is something strange going on here, you know, and it was like a split second too, like, I really wish I was able to make more of it, of what, what the hell it was, I wasn't even recording, I was driving at the time, and my first indication was like, okay, it's Ben, but then it disappeared, and I was like, wait, why, the f why would Ben be by the pond? I don't know. So seeing that shadowy figure outside of the door, even if it was for like a split second, um, it was pretty crazy and then all the stuff we were getting out by the pond uh it definitely seems like the land is haunted not the cabin but some of the stuff i experienced in here too i'm, I'm pretty weary on the cabin itself too all right well we're gonna try and get some sleep guys uh thank you for watching if you haven't already smash that like button and um let me know if you guys would be interested if we came back during a better weather day and investigated the rest of this land and the forest nearby like we were initially going to do. Um, yeah, with all that being said, I guess uh, time to get some rest. Uh, good night, everybody, and good night, bro. Uh, hopefully we have a warm and good night, I guess. All right, good night, bro.
Ben? The fuck is that? What am I hearing right now? Ben? Is that you? <clears throat> oh my god, this is so dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not trying to literally fall off the damn... idea what the hell's going on down here. I'm not even going to ask any questions. I'm just going to go straight back to sleep. I'm just going to act like that never happened. Seems like the correct solution. And um, I'm trying to be like Ben. All nice and knocked out. This is fucking scary. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. okay. Let me just put this up here. <sighs> Listen. After everything that we've already experienced tonight, I'm just gonna literally say, I'm just gonna go to bed. Talk to you about it with Ben later. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's getting hard to breathe right now. I don't know why. Oh, my chest feels like it's closing up. Yo, my heart is like beating out of my chest right now. Oh, I should have brought the water with me. Okay, um... Alright, um, I'm gonna try to get some rest. And, um... What the fuck? Ben? What am I hearing right now? Ben? It's clearly not Ben. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. My head's fucking bleeding. Oh, Ben. Yeah. I think I have a Caucasian. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Power's off. Power? Power's off. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. What's wrong, dude? Oh, never mind. Oh, my buddy, I think I got a crustacean. Oh, oh dude, my head's spinning. Oh, bro, everything's spinning. Can you give me a bottle of water? Yeah, I gotcha. Oh.
they in the fridge? Uh, whatever is down there, the Coke or anything. I forgot. Oh. For, for water for you is, is Coke. Yeah, I don't drink water. <laughs> Zero sugar. Thank you, brother. No problem. The lights are back on. I forgot to shut it off, though. <sighs> ben, what the hell was that? It was what? The thud sound. I, I just heard you screaming. You didn't hear like what sounded like a massive like bang? No. I woke up, lights were on, you were screaming. Bro, I feel like I'm cross-eyed right now. You think you hit your heart, head so hard that you went cross-eyed? <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that delayed reaction, bro. Uh, whatever the hell the sound was, I'll worry about it later. Rattling the door. Hang on. rattling the doorknob. So I was trying to get in. I didn't see anyone though. But uh, after the night that we've had, I'm not really trying to take any chances. Hello? Is the generator still going? It's good. You guys are seeing this right now. Um, I don't know what I am looking at right now. There's no way. Guys, I don't know how to say this, but I'm looking at, like, human footprints in the snow that go from our door out into the woods. I, 
Okay, I gotta show this to Jazz. Holy shit. Alright, I don't want to step on them. They're right next to mine. I'll kind of scratch mine out here. Make it easier for him to see it. Hey. Hey, Jazz. You gotta wake up. Mmm. Some weird shit going on. I need to. What's up? Oh, there you are. What's going on? It's like human footprints outside. It's probably just ours. But I also heard... No, human, like, human feet. Like, feet. Like, there are footprints. Human footprints. And there was... It's not, I don't believe you didn't wake up. There was, like... Someone rattling the doorknob. I was under the covers. So I mean, I pressed probably I didn't hear anything. Is there a light switch next to your head? Oh, that's cool. Who would have thought? Um. Okay. <clears throat> I borrowed your Crocs. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Is there anybody out there? No, there's no one. But the, the first thing I honed in on when I went outside is see these weird ass prints. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. That letter's kind of sketchy. You're saying they weren't there earlier. I just, they may have been, but bro, it's, it, they're human prints. It's also snowing. Like barefoot. Like barefoot prints. Not bare feet, but bare feet. My brother, I don't understand if you understand or anyone understands how weird that is. Where is it? It's straight ahead, bro. Now you're gonna go make a right. Yeah. Like, look at, right there. Oh my god. Here, I gotta get my boots. Yeah, no, you're okay. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Um, guys, that is legit. Okay. You, um, no, look how far it goes. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Um, this is one of the weirdest things I have ever seen. And it just keeps on going. And then it just... I still Runs see them. The they distance. still... Yeah, they I just... Know. That's so odd. And you said it sounded like what? What woke you up? It sounded like someone was like rattling the doorknob. I mean, I... I dated a girl back in the day who had like walked out in the snow so much that like her calluses on her feet, like yeah. she couldn't feel it. She just fucking just go. But like that's a rare human being. And what are they doing out here? You do date some strange. That was back in high school. Yeah, no, that was no, a long time ago. No, 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 sorry. Like, um, hey, that's a that's a talent to be able to walk on the snow like that. I just don't know. Your average. Your average person can't Dude, do that. I, I want to put it out there. I'm outside in a short sleeve right now. Yeah. Well, it, it was kind of just like in the moment. I'm freezing my ass off right now. To be out here barefoot. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's paranormal or people, regardless of the fact, it's not, weird. If it's a person, that person is very powerful. If it's paranormal. Same. I don't Literally the same here. exact thing. Very powerful. Very powerful. I don't want to be here. You want to go? Listen, uh, we're, we're playing a very dangerous game right now regardless. I wouldn't be upset if you want to leave. With the power and everything. I, well, I'm honestly getting out. Everything. I'm bad vibes. I think, I think it's almost like a warning sign. It is. You know. It, <laughs> the fuck? That was on the window again. Again. That was like from earlier. You're going to fall. Careful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get our shit. Let's get the let's hell let's up out of here. I'm, You're right. Let's go. Who's in here? I don't think it's anyone, bro. I don't think anything makes sense here. Unfortunately, we didn't make it till the morning, and I'm very glad we did because we wouldn't have been able to get out of this location. But regardless of the fact, we just didn't feel comfortable being there. You know, we genuinely felt as if there was someone outside. We saw the barefoot footprints, like, what is going on with that? We felt like we were being watched when we were outside, and like I said, just very unsettling. We, we didn't want to stay there another minute. It was even earlier in the night, it was one of those experiences where 
I wanted to leave, but I didn't want to be the guy to be like, hey, Ben, we should leave. And Ben felt the same exact way. We talked about this after. And, you know, we didn't expect this. You know, we came into this night with the intention of camping in these woods. And plan B was <laughs> very eventful, to say the least. But if you guys want us to come back, we will do so. Maybe come back during a weekend. So what if we spent one night in the cabin and then the second night camping in the woods. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in. As a matter of fact, let's make it easier. Get this video to 25,000 likes and we'll do it. We'll come back as soon as it hits that milestone. You have my word. Thank you, promise. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.